This week's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm really flitting around here. One minute I'm in Scotland and now I'm in the Lake District. Uh, so we've finished our trip. And I, when I say we, Paul and I, we had our workshop. Uh, I didn't do any um, vlogging while I was there, but I did take some video footage. So what I'll do is I'll put some of the images that I took uh, with the video footage to give you an idea of uh, some of the conditions that we were faced with and some of the lovely locations that we went to. Uh, as I said, we've come down to the Lake District now and I'm just here for a few days before I go back to uh, Canada. Uh, one, of the, one of the issues we've had this morning, we, we missed some beautiful light over the mountains here. And there's a full moon back here, but uh, do you think we could find any parking? Uh, <laughs> it's really difficult. And when we did find a parking lot, uh, the machine was out of order, but of course it records your uh, your license plate. So now uh, Paul's a little worried that he's going to get uh, a fine for parking uh, for an area that we didn't park in. And there's, of course there's no signal here, so you can't pay anyway. So I, I don't know, it's a kind of a weird setup that they have here. Uh, I think it might be a bit of a money grab, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we missed the light, but the good news is, is that as I said, I'm here for another couple of days, so I think we'll come back to this location and, uh, and try to, uh, to get the morning light uh, tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, it's supposed to be sunny for the next few days, so uh, I'm just gonna explore this area, seeing as I've never been here, and see what potential uh, images we have for you know the rest of today, and uh, hopefully tomorrow morning. So yeah, it's beautiful, really, really lovely. Quite funny. Uh, I come all this way to uh, the UK and want to photograph uh, trees. <laughs> but you have some beautiful trees here. Uh, the oaks, especially, uh, I just find they have so much character here. Like the Scots pine. Uh, 
you know, where, where I live, I mean, we do have deciduous trees and they tend to be the ones with the most character and color. Uh, some of the, the conifers, like the West Red Cedars, they can be quite beautiful, especially the really old, gnarly ones. But uh, in general, the, the conifers aren't that interesting. They can be very large, but as I've said over and over again in endless amounts of videos, uh, they're really hard to show the scale. Uh, what I'm photographing here is the light is coming pretty much, the sun's rising right in front of me. So I'm photographing this oak that's uh, backlit uh, as a pano. It's beautiful. I want to take this opportunity to thank Squarespace for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring this week's video. My favorite feature of my Squarespace website is the ability to quickly and efficiently update a gallery or page from my desktop computer or on the fly using the Squarespace app from my smartphone. Loading multiple images onto a page is quick and allows changing a page or design quickly and elegantly without any coding knowledge. Sound interesting? Why not head on over to squarespace.com and try it for free? If you like the platform, use the code Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. This is quite a lovely scene. Uh, so the, the sun is still just coming over the, the tops of the, the peaks here. And there is a bit of mist in the air. So behind this kind of island of oaks, uh, it has kind of subdued the trees that are behind. Plus they're in the shadow, so you're not gonna really notice them. So it's not that busy. We have some beautiful side lighting just touching the sides of these trees here. So I've moved over as far as I can to try and separate them a little bit. And there's still some remnants of the oak leaves just hanging off some of the branches. So there is a, a nice little bit of contrast in color there. So we have the, the, uh, the rust color tones of the leaves and then uh, the mosses and grasses of the rocks on this island. Uh, yeah, it looks, I think it's gonna be pretty nice. Uh, I, now I have to use the longest lens that I have, which is a one to 200 on the GFX 100 and um, I've also put on the 1.4 teleconverter. So I'm shooting more or less wide open, which is F8 or F9, uh, which should be plenty because I'm, I'm quite far back from here. So I'm just focusing right on the tree that's on the edge and uh, the, the background should, fo should fall off quite nicely as well with that fog. So yeah, it's, uh, I think this might be my favorite image from this morning but uh, don't quote me on that. I can see why this is a really popular area. I've, I have seen quite a few photographs of those oak trees in the background there, and uh, for good reason, because the, when they're backlit, uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. And I would imagine when there's more foliage on those trees, it's probably even better. Now there is a little bit of mist coming off the, the river, not as much as I had hoped for, but like I said, we're coming back tomorrow uh, we'll see how it goes. But with the, uh, the fog that we do have, what I decided to do was slap on uh, a case uh, NDCPL. This is the uh, six stop. And uh, what's nice about it, if you drag that shutter out just a little bit longer, you get that mist kind of swirling around and it gives a bit more of an ethereal look. So I managed to get it up, up to eight seconds and uh, it's created a really, really nice kind of glow on the, on the top of the river there. Uh, the tree, or the oaks, aren't as 
backlit as much as I would have hoped, like I said, because if there was more folios on them, then uh, they would probably be more backlit. But I think I could probably bring them out a little bit in Photoshop. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's a beautiful scene, except for the wanker photographer right on the peninsula there, which just happens to be Paul. I'll just have to clone him out. <laughs> beautiful scene that uh, I'm sure is familiar to many of you out there in the UK. Uh, Langdale Pikes and Elm Ellswater, I believe. Uh, I'm just looking for areas to photograph tomorrow morning and I think that, uh, I think I'm just gonna come right here, stop, no mucking about, just get a straight shot of the lake with the, uh, the mountains reflected in there. And there will be a, a pretty full moon and hopefully we'll get some light on the peaks. Just a really straightforward shot. Uh, sometimes it's, it's the easiest approach is just to go for the, the obvious ones and then, or the obvious shots, and then start to play around with composition a little bit. Uh, I did find some compositions up the river here a little bit uh, that would, might be good in the morning, but I wasn't sure. But I think this would probably be one of the better shots. Uh, 65 by 24, use a, use a panorama. I think that would turn out really nice. So I'm just taking some quick shots now, just to kind of, just in case don't come back tomorrow for some reason or don't get the light or whatever. It's always a good idea to have a few backup shots just in case. I mean, it's beautiful. The light is quite soft on the mountains this morning and uh, we have some reflections of the clouds. So it's, it, it really is beautiful. So uh, just had a, two or three pastries this morning. So I decided to burn a few calories off. The last couple of weeks I've just been eating a lot of pastries and drinking quite a lot of beer. Anyway, we decided to come up uh, Lofrig Fell, I believe it's called. It's beautiful. Let's see if we can get some uh, evening light and uh, Maybe come up here one morning if we have a chance. Never know, we might get lucky with some fog. Well, I'm sure that a lot of people have used this little rock peninsula as a foreground, but I think it works really well when it's got a bit of light on it because you have that contrast, you have the bright, and then if you line it up, you can get it so that there isn't any bright areas in the background touching the rock so you have that depth that you're trying to create. Uh, so we have this really beautiful little rock peninsula and then the light touching the ridges, uh, just kind of kissing the ridges here and then the light on the, on the fells in the background. Uh, it's really quite beautiful. And the little town in the background there as well. Uh, I am gonna put on a case polarizer because I think that might just uh, uh, add a little bit more contrast. We'll see, I'll, I'll give it a go and uh, I'll compare the two and just post the one that I really like the best. But yeah, it's a beautiful little scene in, uh, in the Lake District.
thanks folks. I hope you enjoyed this week's installment. Uh, while I have your attention, my up and coming book, Land and Light, is almost getting there. <laughs> I'm just putting together the uh, web page now. But if you are interested in keeping up to date on its progress, uh, please be sure to head on over to my website and sign up for my newsletter. That's at adamgibbs.com. Until next time, bye-bye.